Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star Baby. Welcome, 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 welcome to Watch Madness, okay? For those of you that don't know, okay, as promised, I'm going to go ahead and explain it because I know I have, um, like, a lot of new people are watching me from the last time I did it, which obviously was last year. March is my birth month, okay? And since I was in my 20s, okay, every March, okay, I would celebrate my birthday all month long. Now, obviously, when I was in my 20s, I celebrated a tad bit different than I do now. You know what I'm saying? Um, And me and my homegirls, we would legit go out all month long all month monday through sunday the whole entire month we had a club to go to we had a section to be in we had bottles in our section we had we had a blast okay we had a blast we had a blast we had a blast i danced on the tables i danced on the boys i danced everywhere i had a blast okay and you know what i'm saying if you don't believe me you can go back and you, you can look at my testimony videos where I actually have pictures, okay? Proof and pictures, okay? But obviously, I'm not finna blow the dust off of, you know what I'm saying, photo albums. Technically, we in a, we in a whole different age, so I will have to look through all the... I'm, I'm not finna do all that. But anywho, with that being said, okay? <laughs> Now, I am not doing that, okay? So, I'm celebrating my birthday, and, you know, I just transitioned it, you know, from when I was a makeup artist and a model, I would do photo shoots all month long. I would, um, you know, constantly, like, post all day, and, you know, it was just an all-month type thing, and you know what I'm saying? Same thing, you know, we're here. I'm transitioning, transitioning, transitioning. God has moved me into being um, being who he has called me to be. And you know what I'm saying? Um, basically, to stop playing and walk in my purpose. And you know what I'm saying? Um, once again, March Madness. So I'm celebrating my birthday. And we will be glorifying God all March long. All March long for March Madness, okay? Um... I do have a few things that I want to do, but, you know, I'm going to announce that when it comes to it, okay? With that being said, okay, now that I got that out the way, um, so the message that God is giving to me is, I didn't even type it out in my phone, but I did hear it when I woke up, okay? And um, for someone, there is someone talking about you. And this person is saying that you are always, like every time you do something, it doesn't matter what it is you do. When you do your hair or when you do your nails or you got a new outfit or you put some makeup on, um, you're trying to lose weight, whatever it is that you are doing, they assume that your main focus and your main objective is to get a man's attention. They, um assume that you are doing these things in order for men to want to be uh for men to be more attracted to you okay um even if you don't say this even if you are like yes y'all i gotta be a this is my birthday but i gotta be a new bible for my birthday i love it too Ooh, 120 books yes okay we got some of the lost books up in here but I, I just feel like this is someone like you don't it's not a situation where you're um deliberately doing this okay i feel like even if it's a situation where you're not the kind of person to do that like you're not the kind of person to uh you only the only reason you losing weight is so a man can look your way the only reason you did your makeup is so a man can look at you the only reason you did your hair is so a man can look at you but this is someone that is perceiving this so let me get the scripture okay get two scriptures the first scripture comes from Psalms 65. Okay, so the overseer, this is a Psalm of David. 
to you silence and praise, O God in Zion, and you a vow is completed. Here of my prayer, all flesh comes to you. Matters of iniquities who were mightier than I are transgressions, you cover them. All the blessedness of him you choose and draw near, he inhabits your courts. We are satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple, by fearful things and righteous you answer us. O oh God of our salvation, the confidence of all far off, the ends of the earth and sea, establishing mountains by his power. He has been girded with might, restraining the noise of the seas, the noise of the billows, and the multitude of the peoples. And the inhabitants of the uttermost parts are afraid from your signs. You cause them outings of mornings and evening to sing. You have inspected the earth and water it. You make it very rich. The stream of God is full of water. You prepare their, their grain. When thus you prepare it, it its ridges have been filled. Its furrow has been de deepened. You soften it with showers. It's springing up, you bless. You have crowned the year of your goodness, and your paths drop fatness. The pastures of a wilderness drop, and you gird the hills with joy. The meadows are clothed with the flock, and valleys are covered with grain. They shout, indeed, they sing. Okay, so here's the bit. Here, here we go. Hold on. Let me highlight this so I can remember, okay, that I went over this one. Y'all know that's just my thing. I always highlight the scriptures that I have went over with y'all or that came through in a message. Um, okay, so the second one is Psalm 114. And the going out of Israel from Egypt, the house of Jacob, the house of Jacob from a strange people, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea has seen and flees. The Jordan turns backwards. The mountains have skipped as rams, heights as sons of flock. What is ailing you, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back? O mountains, you skip as rams. O heights as sons of flock. From before the Lord, be afraid, O earth. From before the God of Jacob, he is turning the rock to a pool of waters, the flint to a fountain of waters. Okay, so here's the message. For whoever this is for. Okay, for whoever this is for, for whoever this is for. Um, I just feel like your blessings are coming from God. Okay, uh, your blessings are coming from God. And this is basically someone who is um, trying to figure out where is, what's the source of your blessings? Where are you getting these blessings from? Who, who, how are you doing this? How are you achieving this? How are you able to receive these blessings? And I just feel like, you know, in reality, it's God, you know? And I have seen this in a sense, like, you know, with women sometimes, um, when a woman feels like she's looking at another woman and she feels like she's beautiful or she feels like she's attractive or she feels like she got it going on, she kind of would think to herself, Oh, well, she don't have to do too much. A man would do this. A man would do that. A man would do all these things for her. All she got to do is this. All she got to do is that. And I bet she'll have men, you know, like groveling at her feet. And, you know, in reality, first of all, this is kind of like a fantasy, okay? <laughs> I don't know why some women are like this. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I like, you know, but it, it's like, I just feel like this is somebody that is looking at you from the outside and they just see the way that you are taking care of yourself. They see the things that you're doing for yourself. They see the things that you are able to do and they feel like there has to be a man involved there has it has to be something you doing something for a man okay you like i just feel like this is someone that 
And it's giving, I'm being reminded of the message where um, I received that message, I think about a year, two years ago, where God was saying that for somebody, there's someone that is watching the blessings that he is giving you, and they are looking for the man that is doing this for you, but the man that is doing this for you is God. This is somebody that is watching the things that you do and they are assuming that the reason you are doing these things is because you're trying to get a man or because you're trying to get a man to do this that and the third and i just feel like this is someone like and it, it doesn't like you know I, I just feel like it doesn't have to mean that sh no man has ever done anything for you you know you could literally be the kind of person that you've been in some very good relationships or um, just you've been with people that are not um, how, how men are. You, they're, they're not modern men, okay? They're not the way men are today and how they they don't want to pay for a date unless they getting some afterward. And they for sure ain't going to go on. They don't want to travel and go on trips and they don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do all these things. This is somebody you have been in some really good relationships, okay? Once again, your blessings come from God. It's not a situation like this is somebody that is thinking that the only reason you are able to get this kind of man or the only reason you are able to have the kind of man that will do the things for you that you have experienced is because of how you look. Maybe they're assuming it's because of your skin tone. Once again, your how you dress. They're assuming it's because of how your body is shaped. They assume it's because of how you look. And um, they think to themselves, if they get their hair done, if they get a new outfit, if they start getting their body together, that means they're trying to get a man's attention. That means they're trying to do this. They're trying to do that. God say, in reality, this is somebody, they need to mind their own business, okay? And in reality, that's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like this is someone that is too much focused on you and what you have going on. They're too focused on you, how you look. They, this is sounding very obsessive. This is obsessive kind of behavior. Someone that is obsessed with how you look, obsessed with what you have going on, obsessed with the kind of relations that you have, confirmation. They are obsessed with it. And I just feel like this is someone that, and, and you know, it's really giving this the kind of person to try to take the person that you got. I got another one right back to back, man. Like, I just feel like it's somebody that's trying to, like, they are looking for you as it's kind of like you like they looking for you to bring a meal or they looking for you to bring a ticket they looking for you to bring something this is someone that is expecting to get some kind of earnings off of whoever you date whoever you are um involved with so you know whoever this person is they really like the kind of person you kind of keep afar this sound like somebody to try to uh Come to your person on the slick. This is how like somebody try to get with your person on the DL. You know what I'm saying? This is how like somebody, this is a very sneaky person. But anywho, this is somebody that um they are looking at you. And I just feel like whoever you are, you are getting yourself together. Okay. You once again don't even have it, don't even have to have anything to do with the man. You could be doing it simply for you. You could be doing like you know, you could be getting your way together for your health. You could be buying yourself new clothes because you want to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, baby, it's your birthday. Baby, it's a situation where you just feel like, like, baby, you need clothes. You know what I'm saying? Baby, you don't even really have clothes like that. And you're just buying clothes because you want clothes. Or maybe it's a situation where, like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like this is someone that is looking at the things that you are doing. And it and they are, uh, for one, they are thinking to themselves, okay, they about to do this, that, and the third. And it's kind of like this person wants to know your next move. They want to know what you're going to do. Maybe they see you in uh, certain circumstances and situations, and they're thinking that um, that is the only way that you're going to get out of it. So they are just basically sitting back waiting for you to get a man like i just feel like this is somebody that is assuming the only way you gonna get out of whatever you got going on the only way you are going to receive this that and the third is if a man comes a knight on a horse 
pulls up and he's going to do this for you. Otherwise, uh-uh, you ain't going to be able to do none of that. Mm -mm. You ain't going to be able to do none of that. God say he himself is going to do this for you. Okay, so once again, like I said, it's giving somebody the that message right there is like it, it's 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 very it's very much okay. God is saying this is specifically for this person that don't believe. Okay, they do not believe that God is with you. They do not believe that God is the one that is blessing you. They don't believe that your blessings are coming from God. They don't believe that it is possible that God will do these things for you. They don't believe that you would be able to enjoy whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you got going on, you know, it could even be a situation where somebody is feeling like, um, just how I described at the beginning about, you know, me and my friends going out and I used to go on trips and all this kind of stuff for my birthday. It could be somebody that is thinking that you won't be able to enjoy, you know, unless you got some kind of man or unless you have this, unless you have that. This is somebody that is trying to... uh like, I just feel like they trying to stop it or they may be trying to interject or this is someone that is trying to... um. Yeah, like I, I feel for somebody, okay, because the message in general is this is somebody that's just saying this, but this it, it could for somebody, this person is trying to stop you from being able to celebrate and stop you from being able to enjoy yourself. And, you know, in my case, you know, this is my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna stop me from enjoying my birthday. My 30th birthday, I ain't even did nothing. I ain't even do anything and I had a blast. You know what I'm saying? I did March Madness online and I had a good time. Last year, I did a few things, but for the most part, I did, uh, once again, March Madness online. I wasn't like, um, I, I just feel like for whoever this is for, it's not a situation. I just feel like you're not even what this person is thinking in their mind is not what you're thinking in your mind. And a lot of times when people know us from the past and they've known us for a long time or they feel like they know us, they think to themselves that we could never change. And this is someone that is thinking to themselves that you are still the same person that you were 10, 20 years ago and that the same things that you did are the same things that you would want and the same things that you liked. That's the same thing going on now. They are assuming that you're going to be on the same vibe. You're doing the same thing. And they they just like, oh, well, this is what's going to happen. And watch this. This is going to happen. And that's going to happen. And that's going to happen. And in some cases, they are actively trying to do whatever they can to prevent it from happening. Obviously, like I said, if this is somebody, you know, that's watching you like this, this is kind of, like I said, it's kind of stalkerish, it's kind of obsessive. This is obviously somebody that is not happy, possibly envious of what you got going on. This could possibly be somebody that um they not feeling it and it don't have to be somebody close. So you could be somebody from afar. It could be somebody literally watching you from like a social media standpoint. It could be somebody that is... um. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could be someone competitive with you too, baby. If you like the kind of person that you have a niche or something like that, it could be somebody else that's in your niche and they are very frustrated. They're tired. They're irritated with what you got going on. And you know what I'm saying? As I've said so many times before, the reason though, the way that you can solve that, the way that somebody that got that going on, the way that they could solve it is simply they don't have to follow you. They don't have to watch you. They don't have to befriend you or whatever it is is if they don't want to see you happy and they don't want to see you enjoying your life and living your life. You know what I'm saying? There are some people that sit around watching us on social media, waiting to hear about bad things. And a lot of times they are disappointed because they don't. And in reality, as I've said so many times before, most people are not going to come on social media talking about the bad things that happen to them. Most people are not going to come on social media talking about their woes and talking about their... um. The, like, you know, like anything like that. I, did, I just feel like it, it's, it's absolutely 
um nonsense and insanity in any in any way to sit around and be preparing yourself and you know you got your popcorn and you got all your snacks and you waiting on such and such to talk about something bad happening this really sounds like somebody trying to work some kind of witchcraft trying to send some spells they're trying to cast some spells against you they want something bad to happen god say they are wasting their time um, this, first of all, they wasting their time because God is the one that is blessing you. God says that he is oh, like your waters are going to overflow for whoever this is for your waters are going to overflow. So what they waiting on, it ain't going to happen. What they thinking is going to happen. It ain't going to happen. They wasting their time and they can might that like, they might as well hang that up. Second of all, this is not a situation where God is sitting around and he is um going to be, you know, like when people do things like this and they sit around and they praying evil on somebody else, they praying that God will tear them down, praying that God will destroy them, praying that God will just shut it down and put an end to it because they sick of it. They don't have to watch. They don't have to be around you. They don't have to involve themselves with you. And um, that's just being real. You know what I'm saying? I remember I had a friend that out of nowhere uh, decided that she did not want to be my friend anymore. I was pregnant at the time and I literally could not understand why out of nowhere she just decided that she, you know what I'm saying, felt the way that she did. And I was talking to someone else about it and they were like, well, maybe they just, maybe she felt some kind of way. Maybe she didn't like this. Maybe she didn't like that. And you know, as hurtful as it was, um, I've even talked to before about a friend that I had that literally told me she stopped being my friend because she didn't like how my life was going. And she felt some kind of way about my life. She felt some kind of way about my relationship. She felt some kind of way about me. And she didn't want to be around me anymore because of that. And even though it's hurtful, at the same time, I would prefer somebody to be honest with themselves and just remove themselves than for somebody to remain friends with you while actively going out of their way, trying to trip you, trying to do things to cause you harm, trying to do things to stop you from accomplishing whatever it is that you need to accomplish and doing whatever it is that you're doing. And, you know, just trying to put themselves in your way, trying to, uh, waiting on something bad to happen, trying to cause something bad to happen. Like this is, you know, it, it's just like, you know, it's insanity. It's crazy. And, you know, even if somebody does in any shape, form or fashion, accomplish something, regardless if they take your man, they, you know, take your friends or they try to tear down your life and spread rumors or whatever it is that they do in reality, like the the idea that I just feel like this is somebody that wants to see you destroyed. You know what I'm saying? They want to see you done. And we, you know, we we get stories every day about uh things like this, situations like this. I just heard a story the other day about a young woman that was um jumped and you know kidnapped and jumped and taken up out of here by her friend, someone that claimed to be her friend, someone that claimed to be her friend. And then uh, further information says that they were trying to get her for income tax check, just a few thousand dollars. It ain't even like, it's not even that much, you know? And I, I, from my perspective, it is just absolute insanity to think that people are like that, but they are. It's people like that. It's people like, like, it's just, and it's just wicked. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, you know, like, you got to watch who you have as your friend. You got to watch who you be around. And you definitely got to watch who you celebrate with. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, it's not meant for you to have everybody in your business. It's not meant for you to let everybody know what you got going on. It's not meant for you to sit around and whisper to everybody what you receiving, what blessings you receiving or whatever. I just feel like, um... For whoever this is for, like this is somebody they are waiting around 
trying to see what you gonna do. They trying to see how you gonna do it. First of all, I just feel like whoever you are, you are 9 out of 10 moving in silence or you are feeling as though you don't need to tell anybody anything. And in reality, if you are an adult, you don't. And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like this it's a situation where this person is trying to figure out some kind of way to stop you. They want to put something together to put an end to it. They got to stop it. They got to stop it. They got to stop it. God is not going to stop it. It's not going to stop. It's not going to come to an end. It ain't going to be shut down. God said you are going to prosper the way he wants you to prosper. And that's that. They can be as mad as they want to. They can be upset. They can be hurt. They can fall out on the floor and stump and do whatever it is that they want to do. In reality, I just feel like this is somebody they really need to pay more attention to themselves and whatever it is that they want to do in their life instead of trying to focus on what you got going on anyways. They too worried about you. They too concerned about you. They need to mind their own business. They need to worry about their own life. You know what I'm saying? Like regardless Regardless if it's a situation where they want the kind of things you have or regardless if they if they want a good man or if whatever it is that they want and like I said I feel like this is somebody you're obviously this is for somebody that's single because this is somebody you don't have a man and you are not you may not even want a man I hear God you don't want a man this is somebody you're not even worried about a man and God is your man. God is the man that is doing whatever it is that got you got going on. God is blessing you and blessing you and blessing you and blessing you. And this is somebody that is seeing your blessings. And they are, um, I just hear comparing it to their failures. And the sad thing about it is everybody, it is nobody on this earth that does not have some kind of failure. That does not have something that they are not good at. That does not have something that um, they were not able to accomplish. So, in reality, like I said, this is just this is just a bad spirit that somebody got on them, and um, it is in reality messing with them more than they feel like it's messing with you. I just feel like you are just moving how you gonna move. It's not a situation where you gonna um, whisper to them or tell them or ask them permission for what it is that you can and cannot do. I feel like it's not a situation where um, you are sharing anything with whoever this person is, regardless if you know they like this or not. I just feel like this is whoever you are, you doing your thing. You ain't, you're not worried about what they think. You're not worried about how they feel. You just doing you. And God said, carry on. You know what I'm saying? As you carry on, as you are doing, God is going to continue to bless you. There is nothing that this person can do to stop your blessings from showering upon you. And that's the message. Okay, that's the message. In reality, every time, whatever this person has done to stop you, they have not stopped you. And it is simply because what they think that you're trying to do is not what you're trying to do. What they think you're trying to achieve is not what you're trying to achieve. And I just feel like they, they, they're, um, in reality, they are, and they are going to carry on being lost for words when it comes to them trying to stop you from obtaining what you are obtaining. They're going to be lost for words, bothered and annoyed when it comes to them trying to put a foot out to keep you from doing whatever it is that God has you doing. They're not going to be able to stop you. And once again, it's because of their mindset. They are thinking that you are who you used to be and you're not. They are thinking that you want things that you used to want and you don't. They are thinking that like their entire way of thinking is conscrewed. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.